Got to take a little bit of time and explain how automatic transmissions work and really primarily how our automatic transmission works. ATS manufactures a tranny that's extremely heavy duty. And one of the reasons we can do that because the clutch packs, the gear train, so much of the componentry inside the transmission we've redesigned, make a bigger pump, build the clutch packs. We have a laser machine and we've kind of re-engineered a lot of the clutch plates. We have this particular transmission has five clutch pack designs. Each one of these We've kind of redesigned them so they have multiple clutches in a clutch pack design that gives you single-sided friction surfaces. And what that does is that allows you to apply more power through the clutch surfaces, and as you're slipping them, they don't burn up, so it evenly distributes the torque between them. With the tranny, you know, there's several things with the transmission that you really have to keep in mind. One, you need a really big pump to get that hydraulic pressure to the clutch packs and increase the lubrication through the torque converter, which is really where most of the heat comes from. So what you'll see in the front of the tranny here is a pump that has bigger gear sets in it. It picks up more volume. It compresses fluid to a higher degree. Our electronic package that plugs into the transmission, it hooks onto the valve body itself, and it actually is the brains behind the transmission. It controls hydraulic pressure. So as you're tipping into it, as engine torque from the factory is limited to a certain power level, when you turn a diesel up, the power level is increased substantially. And the factory TCM keeps that pressure down, so the co-pilot package that we've engineered that plugs into these trannies allows the engine torque to mate what the line pressure of the tranny is. So in other words, when the engine torque goes up, the transmission torque goes up to essentially clamp those clutches and hold everything together. Once you hold all that together, the shafts and the gear train become a little bit of a weak link. And that weak link pretty much comes in the form of broken shafts and busted up gear strain. So increasing the diameter of the shafts, making the shafts out of a 300M material, making planetaries that are steel instead of aluminum. There's many areas inside the transmission, many that you can see here as far as the gear set. For instance, heavy duty, big, robust gear sets. And then doing all that work, you know, is really not gonna get you very far until you take care of the torque converter. The torque converter is a really common uh, area and really the most commonly thing that fails in a transmission is the tor torque converter clutch. So what we've done is we kind of get rid of the whole torque converter and we build this billet part, which this actually bolts to the engine. We increase the amount of bolts. We go from six bolts to 12 bolts. And then what's really patented, what's patented in here, that's the coolest thing is instead of having one clutch, we actually put five clutches inside this converter. And as we stack all these five clutches in, we have another big billet steel piston that bolts onto it. And then a high torque multiplication stator. This all fits right in the front of the engine. So all your engine torque is, is multiplied. The torque is multiplied from the impeller to the turbine. Everything through, goes through the clutches with these square tabs. They don't wear out, so engine torsionals don't kill it. You don't have the heat that comes out of it. And more importantly is you never have the friction material flaking off and going into the transmission that lubricates the gear train. So having all that put together you know, allows us to build a transmission package, the transmission, the torque converter, the big pan, the electronics, the co-pilot, so we can actually put these behind higher horsepower level trucks and warranty them for five years. Standard. <laughs>